Hi everyone, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode I'd like to show you a new feature within Microsoft Teams meetings. So uh, let's create a meeting. Let's call it Meeting Demo and let's invite Alex. I'll send it off <coughs> and, and now I will enter the meeting. And the idea is uh, there's a new feature that's called uh, Games for teams. So let's see how it <coughs> what's happening to the meeting. It should open up. It might take a second. Here we are. Okay, I will join. Yeah, I could turn the picture and uh, now you can see me. Uh, but this is not the whole point. So actually, under uh, we have here the app icon. If we search for games, then we will actually uh, be able games for work. So if I choose this, it will ask me if I want to activate it. So I will add it. There's also a video demonstrates about the whole topic. <coughs> so it's loading and I could uh, activate the feature or not. By default it's activated. You see there's four games here. <coughs> One of them is Solitaire. Uh, sh share it with everyone. Uh, let's not do that. So we there's Solitaire, there's a uh, mine, mine sweep Sweeper, uh, there's word, wordament and icebreaker. I don't know all of these games, but let's go through them uh, quickly. Icebreaker. So if we click this, it also says how many um, people can be in this game and also the age. <coughs> so for instance, we can choose uh, would you rather. So I choose this and uh, select mode. And actually the people can uh, choose uh, read a book or watch a film. So I can choose this and we could go to the next uh, question. Let me just log in with another user and see the experience. So this is Alex. He will also join. <coughs> okay. And actually I will uh, just mute this one. Here we go. So app sharing is in prog progress. Let me see. Something is sharing in this experiment isn't supported in the web app. Okay, so we cannot see it currently. So uh, actually if I'm here, I could go to the next and there's a question, find a thousand dollars on earth or to find something you lost a long time ago. Um, so you can choose uh, all of the things. We can change the mode. That means we can choose uh, all kinds of types of questions. Here's uh, some options to explain um, how to play and about and the volume. If we go here to the nine dots, we can choose a different game. Um, so we can choose this one. And uh, now um, I tried to download this, but uh, I got some uh, some arrows. Oh, okay. So we have easy, medium, hard, and uh, expert. Let's take the easy and let's start the game. Okay, I'm not sure exactly what I need to do. Uh, okay, we have this and uh, make the first move. So um, I'm not sure what I need to do, but I'm just showing you the possibilities and uh, it's a first look on what's happening. This is Solitaire, and probably a card game. I remember the game, but I don't remember how to play it. But I'm just showing you, uh, in short, how it looks.
So it's loading. It might take some time. Two, 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 two. Let's reload. So I, I will not say waste time. Um, so we have all of these uh, types. Ah, uh, we also have this one. It's to do with, so let's see how it is. Ordinate. Now something is loading. It might be only for, so I'll start the game and I can choose here the language and the time. It looks like Scrabble, but I'm not sure what we need to do here. So I'm showing you we can rotate and um, I'm not sure what, uh, do I need to type something? Uh, let's look for, find a word to join, uh, drum. Uh, you um, so I I'm I'm not sure what it is. So uh, in short, uh, this is uh, a feature that you can add as an app, and this is uh, maybe this can can be to start a meeting or to end a meeting, and uh, you can you can choose what you want to do with this. So um, let's go to here to the chat. Um, okay, so thank you very much and.